seems like every day is just a struggle as you go through life. Day after day, week after week, month after month, not much is happening and not much is going on. Just the regular routines of life, but it doesn't seem like you're growing. It doesn't seem like anything's happening. It doesn't seem like God is even answering. You're going through the test of lean times. It's a time where God allows internal growth, root growth, but not a lot of stuff going above the surface that you can tell and detect as you walk with him. Hi, I'm Craig Fritchley from the Sanctuary in Syracuse with today's devotional. And we have talked in the past about some of the tests that God has sent us, sends us through. And this one today, today is the test of lean times. When God allows time to go by and yet seemingly nothing happens as God slowly but surely positions us where he wants us to be. We see it in the life of Joseph. Joseph was an individual that was highly favored by his dad. He was the favorite son. His dad made him the coat of many colors. All the brothers knew that Joseph, even though he's younger, is dad's special son. He's favored. So they treated him bad. They were jealous. In fact, they sold him into slavery. They threw him into a pit. They sold him. He went into a foreign land. And it seemed like that Joseph's dreams that he had as a young man were put on hold. It's frustrating when your dreams are put on hold and when nothing's going like you thought it would. And yet through it all, Joseph kept his integrity and he walked with God. He did what was right, no matter what circumstance or situation that he found himself in. He didn't commit adultery when he could have. He held his integrity, and he was put in prison because of it. In prison, God blessed him, and he was made the head of the prisoners. What an honor to be the head of the prisoners. And after he interpreted the the dream of the baker and the butler, and the baker was put to death, and the butler was restored. Two years went by. All these things happened. And God was testing him in lean times. He was in the will of God, but yet not much was going on. And everything he tried to do that was right seemed to turn out wrong. As God allowed him to go through difficult lean times. Maybe you're there right now. Maybe you've been faithful to God and you've been walking with him and yet not much has happened. Maybe you're a pastor or a good saint in a church and you haven't seen the revival, you hadn't seen the growth. In fact, 2020, amen, was worse and all the things that happened during the pandemic made things worse. You're in the test of a lean time. I want to encourage you today, keep doing what's right. Because God positions people where they need to be. And that, in Genesis chapter 41, whenever God arranged for Joseph to come before Pharaoh and Pharaoh had the dream, Joseph told Pharaoh, the dream of Pharaoh is one. God has showed Pharaoh what he is about to do. He's about to send the country through a lean time. It's going to be seven years of plenty, and then seven years of famine. So what do you do during the times that are hard? Are you preparing yourself? Are you still praying? Are you still studying the word of God, reading it for yourself? Are you still being faithful? Because my friend, in the test of lean times, it's important that we're faithful to God no matter what's happening around us. Because God is positioning us where we need to be. We hope you share these with others and you join us tomorrow for part two of the test of lean times. God bless.